Almost each of the planes I research and then make a video about stands out in their class. From timeless classics like the Bonanza and the Beaver to the Advanced Diamond and V-Twin, each of these planes truly amazed me with either design, engineering, or amazing stories and records of the past. Well, in today's video, we will talk about the plane that, ironically, has none of the aforementioned features. But why are we making a video about it, you might ask? Well, the aim today is to find out why the Cyrus SR-22 has been the world's best-selling general aviation plane for over 20 years in a row. But before we dive deep to find out what's so special about this bird, let's wind the clock back a bit and get to know the manufacturer. Cyrus Aircraft started in 1984 as an endeavor of two brothers, Alan and Dale Klapmeyer, and their first product was actually a kit plane and quite an interesting looking one. VK-30 was a home-built four-seater pusher, which to me looks much cooler than any other Cyrus planes. But that's just me. Interesting fact, the prototype was sort of a Frankenstein of aviation. In order to reduce costs, many parts were borrowed from the junkyards. For example, the nose landing gear came from a Piper Cherokee, and the engine was scrapped from an older de Havilland Heron. The fuselage, though, was proudly designed in-house, using the latest technology of that time, composite materials. Well, VK-30 wasn't a flop. The kits were selling, and Cyrus worked on a number of improved variants. But the Klapmeyer brothers pursued a far more ambitious goal, to set a benchmark of reliability, performance, and comfort for general aviation in the 21st century. But did they succeed? Well, let's find out. Cyrus SR-22 inherits many innovative design features from its older brother, SR-20, so, we will be going back and forth a bit, but let's be real, they do look like a generic plane. I bet if I'd ask my kid to draw me a small plane, it would be very similar to the SR series. It's the classic look we all are familiar with. Low wing, T-tail, fixed landing gear, nothing fancy. And it works. Then, what's about all the innovations? Well, the SR-20 was the first general aviation plane featuring an all-composite fuselage, which greatly decreased the weight, thus allowing for a bigger engine and mounting the cap system. To be honest, that's about it in terms of design, but maybe there's something about how it performs. Let's check the specs. Since its first introduction in 2001, the SR-22 has been improved quite a bit. So, we will be reviewing the latest model that's available as of June 2024, the SR-22 G7. And let's start with speed. Thanks to the low weight and 310 horsepower Lycoming, max cruise for this bird is 183 knots. Yeah, pretty fast. Faster than almost all single-engine Cessnas, but slower than Mooney so not the fastest. In terms of range, the Cyrus SR-22 provides a solid 1,200 nautical miles, which is enough for a weekend cross-country trip. However, there are aircrafts of similar size that offer greater range. For instance, the Cessna 182 Skylane offers up to 1,500 miles, and there is an option for extended tanks. When it comes to useful load, it's decent. I mean, Cyrus markets this as a family plane, so, two adults, two kids, and a few suitcases will fit easily and without sacrificing the range too much. The spec sheet states a useful load of 1,328 pounds, and comparing that to the older Pipers, Beach, and Cessnas, that's just about average. See, SR-22 doesn't seem to have anything special about it. Then, how is it so popular? The trick is the experience. Cyrus doesn't market itself as an option for pilots looking for a reliable old plane for an appropriate amount of money. No, Cyrus's target audience is pilots who seek ultimate comfort and experience, and are willing to pay extra dollar for that. Note, I said pilots, not passengers. 
During the years, Cyrus invested heavily into making flying the SR-22 the ultimate pilot experience. Here are a few things they've done to achieve that. First of all, SR-20 was the first general aviation plane to feature two Garmin glass cockpit modules, and the SR-22 features an even newer version with infrared and synthetic vision. The G7 even features an integrated checklist and taxiway routing through the Garmin synthetic vision. Second, ergonomics. If you've ever had a chance to sit or even fly Cyrus, you know what I mean. It's like you've been there a hundred times before. Every button is right where it needs to be, and that's one of the key features and selling points of the SR series. Both pilot and passenger seats are comfortable for longer flights. Cabin has good ventilation, has lots of USB ports, cup holders, and lots of options to customize the interior to fit your needs. Also, Cyrus stands out as likely the only aircraft manufacturer to develop a dedicated smartphone application, which offers access to technical data of the plane and some degree of remote control. Main features include remote monitoring of various aircraft systems and maintenance info. Of course, we cannot bypass another major selling point. CAPS, which stands for Cyrus Airframe Parachute System, is a ballistic parachute that will land you and your plane more or less smoothly in case of an emergency. I don't have specific data about CAPS, but for all ballistic parachute systems in general, it's quite impressive. More than 400 lives saved in the last 10 years. While it's hard to describe the Cyrus experience, I just want to say that every aircraft manufacturer has its own slice of the single-engine airplane pie, and Cyrus clearly has defined its strong points and offers very pilot-centric and pilot-friendly planes, encouraging newcomers to enjoy the skies. But all this comes with a price. While older models can be found for around 250 grand, the G7 Turbo will set you back around one and a half million dollars. Yeah, this bird isn't cheap. As we wrap up this video, let me know your thoughts about this bird in the comments below. I'll be glad to hear them. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Fly safe, and until next time.